I'd like to introduce my colleague, Yael Grushka-Kakane, Assistant Professor of Business Administration here at Darden. And one of Yael's specialties is project management. So we're going to talk a little bit about the larger scope of project management and how that relates to Agile. So, Yael, project management, thanks for joining us. Project management has been around a long time as a formal discipline. What do you think are some of the biggest differences that someone who's been trained in those more traditional approaches is going to notice when they work on a project with Agile? Um, yeah, uh, thanks again for inviting me. And that's a great question uh, to start us off. Um, I think that the approach is really, it's almost like flipped on its head. Uh, in traditional project management, there's a lot of emphasis on identifying the scope up front. There are tools and techniques, uh, writing down a work breakdown structure, visualizing it, planning out the critical path, um, really to nail down the scope to remove any ambiguity and any scope creep uh, down the road. And then our main emphasis while the project is actually being executed is on the timeline and the cost. Uh, in the Agile framework and developing software in today's world and following your guidelines, it's really uh, allowing and opening the door for that ambiguity in the scope. Uh, we no longer you know, uh, fear that, that, that scope creep or we no longer fear or try to nail it down exactly, but we're really trying to progress and allow the, the work itself and the client and the feedback that we get um, adapt the way that we progress. So I think that that's really one of the biggest differences um, and that means working with teams differently, uh, allowing teams to inspect and adapt, listen to them and be more uh, flexible as opposed to have a clear path from start to end. And I mean, beyond the kind of obvious playbook stuff that they would have learned, I mean, what habits do you think they most need to watch out for if, if they've been trained and are used to working in these more traditional environments? Well, I think that there's a tendency in the more traditional environments to uh, to distance yourself, to to start with the plan, to identify the requirements and the specs, and then to kind of take a step back and work in isolation and come back after a long amount of time or a long period of time. I think that that is something that they need to watch out for, uh, to open up, to be very close to the client, to be close to the team, and to allow for full transparency along the way. Um, it's really a different mindset because you're looking for input as opposed to moving away and sheltering yourself and trying to complete your work uh, behind closed doors. You're opening your entire uh, progress up. You're, you're showing your code maybe um, or your, your functionality that you've developed and you're lo looking for reactions to that. So really this notion of where does the work um, get done and how does it get done and, and just allowing for more transparency. I think that that's going to be a real, sometimes a, a hard transition. Um, another one is, is just working with an, a team that has many different skills and that is going to come up with ideas and suggestions for deviations and, and changes along the way. Uh, project managers are not necessarily always ready for that or they're not always looking for that type of input. They're really hoping to hear, I've completed my task, what's next? And not necessarily hearing for suggestions for something new or a new path forward. And so they really need to be um, willing to listen to their team and to their clients uh, in a different way. And you know, given that I would say uh, you have your, your Silicon Valley companies, your progressive companies using Agile, and it's this generally accepted idea that it, for most types of software, it probably works better. Why do you think that these traditional project management techniques are still so prevalent in digital and, and software creation? Um, well, I think that if you go back, the reason that they started off the way that they have and the way that they didn't immediately start where, where we are now with Agile, because software has been an evolving um, field. Programming has been evolving. Uh, 20, 30 years ago, not everybody in the organization felt so comfortable looking at code and talking about code um, and developing these types of functionalities. And so there were really fewer programmers. They were scattered around the organization. The resources were, were more of a scarce resource. And so they had to work and utilize that resource differently. Companies had to plan the development in a different different way. Uh, now we have uh, different organizations that can allow their teams to, to be physically and in one place and work together on a single project over a long amount of time and then move on to the next project together. That has not always been the case and organizations are slowly moving in that direction. 
but really to get to a place where the infrastructure allows for a more of an agile approach um, takes time. And so the traditional project management techniques were developed on the idea that we may have a resource join our project, but then go off and work on a completely different project because they have a unique skill set um, that only they can uh, can provide a certain piece of work. Um, and so as organizations are restructuring their teams and restructuring their, their capabilities, um, we're seeing the methods support that and move towards your agile philosophy. Well, it's certainly not mine, but, uh, I, but I'm a big fan. I, uh, the, the, uh, the, you mentioned about the people coming in and exiting teams. Do you, what do you think are the differences, material differences, if any, between how traditional project management would suggest you compose and maintain your teams versus agile? Well, I think that um, in, in the agile environment, the, the teams are um, a, a single unit, okay? Self-organizing teams um, in, in the agile framework. They're, they're, they're self-organizing, they're multidisciplinary, they have more of a capability to, to move from one task to the other, to help each other out and to, to complete, complete functionality in, in certain iterations. Uh, in traditional project management, the iteration is, is the entire project. So there is less of a, a need for the team to be able to complete quickly and swiftly a piece of work, but for an individual resource, they can spend their allotted amount of time, uh, complete their task that they were assigned to, and they're likely to move on to a different project while that task and um, that they completed moves down the chain. And so there's a little bit more of a, a, a fluid flow of resources in and out of the project in a traditional project management environment, which adds some complexity of its own. It means that organizations are often uh, matrix types of organizations where resources are allocated only temporarily for projects. And so they really uh, rely on due dates and they rely on this idea that once their involvement in, a, in their task is done, they move on. Uh, in the agile environment and in the, the way that software development uh, gets developed in that setting, it's different. You work as a team and you stay with your team and you move on together with the learning and with your uh, conclusions from the retrospectives, you move on to the next phase, if it's the next sprint or if it's the next iteration or if it's even the next uh, release, but you stay as a cohesive team, uh, which provides some opportunities for growth and, and improvement. As a, I'm a traditional project manager, I come into an agile project, what do you think are going to be the rewards? What do you think they might notice that they, they do like about it and they're, they're finding useful one, as they initially get started? Well, um, I think that there's a lot, a lot that they're going to get excited about. And probably the biggest one is the, the quicker uh, feedback, the quicker success and the quicker feedback. Uh, I've worked with many large organizations, perhaps more traditional industries like construction and banking, um, and you often hear that new employees come on board, they're full of enthusiasm, they start working on a project, and two years later, they haven't seen a project to completion. And they get frustrated. They've not seen a product produced or released, and they haven't heard any customer feedback or gotten any good signals that what they've worked on so hard is worthwhile. And so um, by changing their mindset and working with uh, the set of tools and, and the techniques uh, that Agile encourages, I think that they'll see much quicker feedback and much quicker success. Uh, quick wins, I think we're, we're, uh, today's generation is looking for much quicker satisfaction and quicker wins, and that the, they will get that with the Agile framework. 